did you do that? How did you do that? Today is January 30th, 2017, and it's 8.01. So today I didn't go to the gym. Um, I did some um, uh, leg exercise yesterday, and um, my ankle still has, uh, my left ankle has some issues. And uh, today what I wanted to do is do some minor uh, movements with my legs, um, with my toes and my ankle. To sort of strengthen it um, and I've done a video back then uh, when I first uh, when I started recovering from my sciatic um, I'm gonna do some of them and I wanted to share with you and tomorrow when I go to the gym I'm gonna do legs again and um, you know I want to if I had that ball that's a stability ball or uh, whatever it calls um, to put my foot on to help me um, with my ankle, I will, you know, I would have used it here. But um, the main thing is that when I'm at home, I want to do this particular exercises that I will be doing um, when I'm at home. So when I'm at the gym, when I'm using those equipment, I could have more, uh, my ankle will be more strong. So what I'm going to need, a cloth. So this is a shirt that I've worn before. So since I'm going to be putting it on the floor, I don't need a clean uh, towel or clean cloth so I wore this so I'm gonna be using this to put on the floor and I'm gonna need some band um, to work my ankle this might be too long because I'm in my apartment um, I don't have any place to actually anchor it um, so I might use this one where I'm holding it so I'm gonna go in the living room and you will not be seeing my face because the thing will be pointing on my foot mostly and I'm gonna use this um, that I usually use at the gym to uh to record to mount the camera on and my living room is a mess my son my youngest have all his legos there so i'm gonna find a spot um to do it and right here it's my room so there's not that much room either so yeah let's go and i'll show you what i'm gonna be doing so before i get started uh, with the little exercise movement that i plan on doing with my legs so what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna give myself of one session of some stimulation with the accu relief um the thing is sort of losing its i don't have uh, another one so um yeah i'm gonna do a little um stimulation uh, for my leg and i'm gonna put it on joints all right if you look at this where is it right now it's right here it's back the next one is joint okay because i'm putting right on my ankle and on the joint where my toes is because that's where my problem is and i'm gonna crank it up this is the highest all right so i have i'm not feeling it maybe i should change okay now i feel it this is it Alright, so I'm going to leave it for one session and once it's done and I'll start doing some um, exercises with my toes. So I'm going to stop it right now and when it's done I'll come back. So what happened is that the thing wasn't sticking, right? So I'm just going to remove it and change it because it was not sticking on my leg. So this, these, I'm going to throw away. So I have some replacement. I think there's like four in each um, bag. I'm gonna take two of them. All right, there's one. I'm gonna 
my get and the next one will be this one so now I'm gonna remove it place it on my leg right, this is the first area let's see right here on my ankle even the brand new one is not right here Oh, that's the other one. Okay, that's the other one. Right here on my toe. Alright, so now let's do it again. Alright, okay, it remains on the on, on the joints because I guess 25 is the highest. So I'm gonna keep it going until it's done and then I'll start doing the exercises. While I'm waiting here for the uh, leg, uh, the active relief to finish, I'm going to be doing some neck movement while I'm sitting here. Um, I'm not going to record all of it, but I just wanted to share with you. This is what I've been doing since I started having that neck so spasm. So much better now. Before, I couldn't really do all of this without being in pain so much better now let's see if i correct it so much better but all this week when i go to the gym i will not be lifting i'll do the movements the lifting movements with my arms but i will not be lifting only my legs i'll be focusing on my legs so much better Right now, those areas that I was feeling the same tightness, it's almost, I, I feel it slightly, but it's not painful. So much better. I could hear some of my neck being cracked a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna continue doing this, but I'll stop the camera. So these are the things that have been helping me with my neck muscle spasm. That's it for now. So I just finished and I put the thing back here. I might use it again next time. So I'm not gonna get rid of it. So what I'm gonna do here, I, ha I set up the camera on the floor because I'm gonna remain at that position I don't have the best looking foot um, I will not be using this one that much this this one that's the problem so I'm just gonna do some movement moving like this I believe this is plantar flexion Move it up down up down gonna do about 10 going this way okay I feel it right here that's where my issue is one of my issues I have three issues on my leg this area this area that joint and my toes my big toes all right so now I'm gonna do uh, this movement see the minute I did that I feel it uh, see it's got numbed already okay I need to loosen it See, that's where the problem is some of the problem the minute I do what's the term for it when you move your feet like that I forgot the name of it but the minute I did it it uh, I could I feel a numbness automatically I can move it it felt numb all right so here this way I'm gonna do 10 repetition Now I'm gonna do it outside going this way. Now, I don't have that much mobility on going, moving it this way like I do here. You see how easy I'm able to move that here, but here not much. That's how far I could go. That's 
sort of stopped doing this for a while. If I had stopped, I would have uh, do much better. This is my sciatica. All here feel very nice. All right. So now I'm gonna try to move my toes like this. Obviously, I'm not that flexible with my toes. So let me move this up slightly. Okay. See. Then I'm gonna put it on the floor to do the same thing. I have a couple of videos explaining some of the toe movement, um, how it helps with my calves. My calves have improved very well from doing those movements with my um, toes on the uh, calf raises machine. So if people do more of this, you could see all the veins here. So tomorrow, I'm gonna see how I do on that uh, machine. Not machine, the ball. Um, I've been using it, it's very helpful. The next thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to use this ball because right now it seems like I have a flat, a flat, foot, a flat foot, so I'm going to put this ball. I need something smaller, but that's the smallest I have, right? Yeah, that's the smallest thing that I have. Maybe I don't have anything anymore. Um, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to try to push that down my uh, my uh, toes down okay because I need uh, mobility on those toes this one the big toes is a, a big problem very big problem right so I need to have mobility on these and obviously these two okay so I, I just need to push it down slowly and I want to feel the these part of the area of my foot under here in the minute as i'm doing it just look at these um veins or the muscles over here as i do them because i have problem here too It's a golf ball. That's the smallest ball I have here. That's the E version and N version. That's the word I was looking for before. Think of it.
So throughout the day today, I'll be doing this. Once I'm just recording one of it, and the next time I do it, I'm not gonna be really recording anymore. All here, I feel it. So let me do some toe tap. This is very hard. What I'm trying to do is do this. Believe me, if you are able to do these with your toes, when you're doing the calf raises, it helps a lot. I mean, I don't have the most really uh, big calf, but it helps a lot. I've seen great improvement on my calves from doing different um, uh, calf raises with the with my toes. Different tools um, on the machine. Okay, from here, let me push it back. Thing is, I'm trying to only lift the toes, not the entire foot. This here, just that. Let me try with the right. This one is the good foot. No problem with this. I mean, it's not that perfect, but imagine when you don't use these, your toes like that all the time. So it's obviously you're not gonna have much mobility on them. Okay. I need to work more on this because that's, you see this vein right here? This is my problem. This one is my problem. It's sticking out right now. I guess from doing the, those little movement, it, it brings it out. This is my problem. As I'm touching it, it feels numb. It feels numb. Okay, so, which means this works. And I believe that, see, I'm not a doctor, but I believe all this, it goes from my toes, and then there's a spot over here that um, always feeling numb. So this whole thing here, so the toes, I believe they all connected. This area, this is one spot on my leg, here on my ankle, and here on my toes. And this is the spot where it messed up on my um when i on the snow snow and i wore my boots i didn't even feel it until i took the boots off Sorry if you see my how ugly, you're looking at my toes like this. Hey, no, I don't have perfect toes. Yeah. So I want this to go first, second, third, fourth, and then fifth. Okay. But it's not going accordingly. These two are fine. These two I have some issues, but this one is the main problem, the big toe. Okay, small toes, the other one, the two, and the big toes. Big toes first, let's see if I could do it. Yep, you see? Now I'm trying to do the big toes, this, this, this. This, 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 I can't really do it. Okay. I want the big toes first. <laughs> I can't do it. All these wants to go first. Okay, let me hold these. Okay, let's see now. Okay. Let's put this back in. 
when I do this, I feel this really uh, uh, a lot. So I think I should be doing this. Okay, and do this. So now the next thing I'm gonna do with this foot is, this is why I need that dirty towel. But instead of using dirty um, a, a clean towel or something like that, I'm gonna put a shirt that I wore already. It's to get from the hamper. So the next thing I'm gonna try to do is to bring this like that with my toes, with my foot. Okay, to try. This is my hand, so I'm gonna try to do this with my uh, foot. Okay, let's start again. First, let's see how the right leg does it. Okay. 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 Did pretty well. Okay, now this is the main one. Okay, not bad. Let's start all over. One more time. You should have heard this area sort of cracked when I did that. Dorsiflexion, plantar flexion, plantar, dorsi. You can see all of this. Let's do a little bit, e, what is it, E version, I believe is going this way. I did it before, and version this way. So let's put it flat. Yes. Feel this? See that? When I do, uh, I believe that's uh, e-version, I feel this part. So now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the camera on the higher stand and then I'm gonna try to do single leg. Maybe I don't even need, uh, let me stop it. I'm gonna do single leg stand see if I could maintain my balance like I was doing and that'll be it after that okay my next movement is to try to maintain my balance this is the leg problem all right so tomorrow when I go to the gym I'm gonna be standing on the thing that little ball see if I can maintain my balance okay Let's see if I could bend down. The main thing as you, let me zoom in so you guys could see what I'm trying to do. Let's see. Okay, I'm right here. The main thing, look over here as I'm bending down. I'm gonna see it all flickering. Okay, I'm trying to bend. Okay, without holding. Okay. Okay, let me try with my 
right foot. This is the good one. Okay, let me do more on the left because that's the main problem. The minute I stood on it, you can see all the veins on my, the muscles on my foot flickering, trying to keep my uh, my foot balanced. Okay. I cheated there a little bit. I used my hand to balance myself. That's it for now. If I decide to do more, I will not record it. But since um, my focus this week is to improve my um, strength on my legs, so um, I wanna see. I've been putting it off for a while. <laughs> my neck situation sort of pushed me to work on it. So I wanted to share that with you and hopefully tomorrow when I go to the gym, some of the things that I did yesterday um, improve slightly. I, I'm not expecting a miracle, but it should get slightly better. And I, the main thing is when I go to the gym, the very first time I step on the ball, I wanna see how my leg react. I, I feel like um, I need to see uh, how my leg react on the very first time I step on it and the last time I step on it. So that way I have an idea when I go back how my uh, foot is um, improving. So I need to do this a lot. This, uh, I should have kept that up since my sciatica. I saw the stop in between, once in a blue moon, I decided to do some stuff. But if I have kept up with it, and um, practicing um, at least, I'll say two to three times a week, I should have, my leg should have got slightly better. But um, I neglected, I think I got, Mentally, I felt like, oh, I got it and stuff like that, and I stopped. 